Okay, here's the final product. I have 11 bends across the, uh, the breakout box. There's a switch and a potentiometer on each bend. So each one is variable, and I have a pitch control over here. So what I'm gonna do is activate one of the uh, internal uh, rhythm tracks. And I'll just start modifying. Another feature that I added is the, these two 25 pin connectors and the reason that I did this is because I wanted to be able to trigger notes from timed external sources. In this case I'm coming from this box here which contains um, some highly liquid MIDI decoders and um, this the MIDI signal is actually coming from a DVD and I took a MIDI sequence that I created in Pro Tools and I actually made a cable of a MIDI to quarter inch and I recorded the MIDI as an audio track and then I put that onto the DVD and coming out of the headphone out of the DVD I reversed the process and I have this as a MIDI to quarter inch cable here and um, so that is taking that and converting that back into a MIDI signal and so I can play the sequence is actually on the DVD disc so when I play the disc and this will also allow, allow me to sync to visual elements too. The next thing that I would like to show you is the world's most impractical sequencer, the giant pink wheel of torture. Um, and what this is, is this bar here has 50 photocells in it. And the photocells connect to transistors, so when they see light, they turn the transistors on. <clears throat> and when those turn on, they in turn play notes through these two 25-pin connectors.
to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes on the giant pink wheel. Um, this is a uh, just a, like a mat board cut out here, and this is an acrylic disc. These <coughs> are the photo cells that I was telling you about. And then on the back, this is where they come <coughs> they come and hook up with these transistors here. And they're 2222 transistors. And then those, in turn, come down to these 25 pins. <coughs> and that's how the note triggering occurs for the, for the keyboard. Back in 2004, the year I began circuit back, I had built the Ridiculatron 2000, amongst other. Later that year, we had our inaugural uh, march in a parade with our circuit bending marching band, the Island Park, Thursday evening gentlemen's society circuit bending marching band, and the ladies auxiliary. That very day, in this very room, a fire broke out, destroying the Ridiculatron 2000 and the other 10 devices that I had built up to that point. We rebuilt the house, and I picked up and uh, went to two Met festivals in New York, one in L.A. Um, this past summer, my wife, Nolan Dean Cedar, and I did a tour in France and Germany as circuitry and poetry. Um, and I just want to thank Mo for the opportunity to participate in this festival. And uh, I hope to see you in the finals.